Hi class, this is Bearded Debate, and I'm going to teach you how to file Baylor Briefs Evidence today. So looking at the screen starting off, we have the filed Baylor Briefs Evidence, and you can't quite see my mouse being captured, but you'll see where I click at least. So like if I click there, you've got it. Pretty simple. So right now we're in our Baylor Briefs folder, and it's kind of a mess. We need to get all this filed. And our ultimate goal is to get all of the filed evidence into this 2017 filed Baylor Briefs folder that I have highlighted. So what you're going to do is I have this National Debate Handbook right here in this folder as well that's called 2017 Baylor Briefs. And go ahead and open this up. And I already have it open here. And it should look like this. It's kind of goofy because I've got this outline here. Um, but this is what we're going to be filing, and we need to make sure that all of this evidence is filed into um, the filed location. So one of the things you'll notice here is that it has this massive table of contents. So this is the case against increasing funding and a regulation of K-12 education. So when you look here, you'll find this title that says Charter Schools Serve English Language Learners. Here's the evidence number, 739 through 741. Um, there's no reason for tension between charter schools and other public schools. The intention is for them to cooperate. So what you would do then is control F and look for 739. And so you'll find anytime you see the number 739, you know, it's going to do that. But here's the piece of evidence. So this piece of evidence doesn't have a title for it though. So that's what you're going to run into as, as, as an issue. So when you, when you go to this number and it's like 739 through 742, it's like all blocked out without a title. So what you end up having to do is copy and paste this, just the evidence itself. Um, but let's actually go back to this 2017 filed evidence and we're gonna make a new Google Doc. So it's to put this information into. So what you'll do is when you create this doc, you need to name it. So this topic is um, well. Wait a minute, let me see what that was. I'm gonna go back one more. Oh yeah, there it was. Okay, so charter schools serve English language learners. So, that, you know, this is just a claim. Obviously, they're probably going to claim some kind of harms that private schools don't serve English language learners, and that's why they need to have an affirmative case. And so here's the responses on page or on evidence 739 through 741. So what you want to do is label this something related to charter schools because we're not going to have just evidence um, in this file only related to uh, charter schools. This is all related to regulating charter schools. So the overarching theme here is regulating charter schools. And as you go through this, what you're going to do is you're going to have to make sure that you uh, file all of this under this. So like you've got this regulating charter schools, sub point A, charter schools are increasing educational opportunity for millions. You need to make sure that all that information is there. And then that has evidence associated with it from 656 to 658. And so under that, this major document that we will label as the title, um, Regulating Charter Schools, you'll go back to this and go, okay, uh, charter schools are increasing educational opportunity for millions of elementary and secondary school students. So in this document, you'll start out with that claim. Actually, probably go ahead and put this at the top. And this is an important opportunity for me to show you some how to use Google Docs. I can always make a separate video off for this as well, but there's an add-on called Debate Template. If it's not appearing, just go to Show Sidebar. If you don't have it, go download it. It's the most amazing thing ever. So it automatically has these formatting buttons on the side. So all you have to do is highlight this, and then boom, it's titled. Here we go, this is a hat, charter schools are increasing, and then 
subpoint one of this point A is charter schools enrollment is growing. And you will go ahead and make this as a tag because that's what the evidence is claiming. So the evidence that you're claiming, did I click block or tag? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, so tag. Go ahead and click the tag, go back over here, search for 656. And you go down one, should find it. That's inside a piece of evidence. Inside a piece of evidence. Inside a piece, there it is. So 656 to 658 supports this claim. So you're going to copy 656 through 658. and paste it. So then you have here, you can also, you know, the Daily News, Los Angeles, December 13, 2016, you can also click cite so that it's cited correctly. Um, now what should be happening though, is this will be appearing on the left-hand side. So as we're building this document, you will have the ability to go, okay, um, I need to find information about charter schools enrollment growing. Boom, you click that, it takes you to that place in here just like how verbatim worked, but with Google Docs. And so as you build this document, you'll be able to find more and more evidence supporting you know, this idea at the top related to regulating charter schools. So you're gonna be building evidence against cases related to that. And then whatever they're claiming, you'll find um, you know, a way to refute that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the very top one. It's a big document, so it works a little bit slow having that open. But you're essentially going to have all of this filed. So there was point one, now point two. Charter schools have an outstanding record of increasing academic achievement. 659 to 674. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that there. I'm going to make that a tag. That way it appears on the left hand side. Not sure why that's being, there we go. And so now when you click this, it'll take you to that place in the document, just the same. And once again, you'll find 659. So let's go 659. It's like that's in a lot of places. So we're gonna go down, boom, there it is. and go back here to 674. The reason why I like to put this is here so you can go back and without having to go search through the document. So through 674, I'm gonna go ahead and start. It's a little slow. This document is huge. If you go across multiple pages, it has that at the top of every page. So you'll have to delete that to get rid of the um, text that we just went across. I'll show you that here. So I copy this go over here. Put the information in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because we don't need that. Showing the page number and the header of the page because this is from a book. And you've got all this evidence. Now one of the things we need to make sure we do again is we need to make sure we um, copy or highlight this and then make sure it's a tag. So because you know we're tagging the evidence. Or sorry, cite. Well, citing the evidence. Actually it goes all the way over there site um, and then also see I think they have the colors backwards in the formatting for some reason not sure why that's happening might look into that in a little bit one other thing to make sure that you do as we're going through and doing this because 
So now you've got all this evidence under here. Which one do you want to read? What do these actually say? We need to actually go through and tag these. Um, so this says two, then this will be like, and we have the A up here, or um, so A charter schools are increasing educational opportunity for millions of elementary and secondary school students. So sub so point one of that. So then here we'll have like little A, little B, little C. So um, what you'll want to do is you'll make little A, maybe tab over or something. It'll automatically do that. Actually, little A space. Um, and this piece of evidence says, blah, 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 reported that students in charter schools scored 0.25 standard deviations higher in reading scores and 0 0.40 higher in math scores than comparable traditional public schools. So private school students score better. Better than public. in math and reading. And so what you'll do there is then make this another tag, right? So now as you um, are going through, you can see, okay, this is a piece of evidence that makes this claim. And under this, we can see a private schools, little b, whatever this would be, little c, whatever this would be. So then we each have a title for those. So we know what we're going through and reading that. So like if we're going through, we're debating against a charter school case and they make this claim in their case to say, look, one of the reasons why we need to regulate uh, private schools is because there's a big achievement gap between public schools and um, private schools. We need to make sure that our public schools are rising to that same level of performance and we need to regulate our public schools for some reason. You know, you may not want to make that argument because they're already claiming that in their case. And instead, you would want to give a logical argument that says something along the lines of, um, you know, why would we take away from other kids just because other kids are performing as well? The case should then be focused on helping those kids, you know, rather than making a claim that they already have made. Um, so that's one. That's the main thing we need done with this is we just need these files created that have information from this because this is all big blocky text. We need it to be broken down into subpoint A, uh, subpoint B, and so on. You get the point. Pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Once again, you just create your file here. So we got our 2017 Baylor briefs, 2017 filed Baylor briefs. Create the larger file, put all the subpoints in that file, and that way, anytime you're dealing with regulating charter schools, you go here for any kind of argument you make. Not just one argument, all arguments relating to regulating charter schools, and then it's all sorted out. We need all the advanced kids to be participating in filing this. The sooner we get it done, the better, because the sooner we can actually get out to debate tournaments. Thank you, and have an awesome day, and I hope you have a successful season.